Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am officially two weeks out from moving to Disney World and I'm so excited so I'm getting ready to go here soon. I've got my Minnie Mouse shirt on and I am ready for some Disney magic. I'm going to tell you guys 10 things that are on the top of my bucket list that I cannot wait to do when I move to Disney World. So that being said, these are in no particular order, just going to go ahead and whip them out. So well, I say no particular order, but obviously number one has got to be The Lion King, my all time favorite movie in the world. So I need to go see the Festival of the Lion King. I'm so excited. I've heard this is such a fun show. It's got all the acrobats and the musical elements and it just looks like a ton of fun and it's my favorite movie ever so I cannot wait to see the Festival of the Lion King. From here on out there's not really any order. But another thing I'm doing to get ready for my DCP here in a few weeks is putting together roommate gifts. It's just something traditional typical DCP things is doing roommate gifts for everyone and so that'll be super fun and then let's see okay also so I've never been to Disney World and Disney World has Animal Kingdom which Festival of the Lion King okay number one and then another thing at Animal Kingdom is the new Pan like world of Pandora which I am stoked to see that they Disney actually put together somehow who knows the magic of Disney made up the floating mountains from Avatar in Pandora and it is gonna be amazing to so I'm just so excited to see that and the tree of life and all the other stuff that goes into Disney's Animal Kingdom um, so that is definitely another one top on my bucket list um, every once in a while and I know they did this in the spring I don't know if they do it every like term of the DCP but if they do I really would love to do sunrise yoga in front of the castle on Main Street with all the DCP students um, that would just be really fun and magical to watch the sunrise and just be the only ones in the park and doing yoga and just super I think it'd be fun it'd be awesome um, number five let's see <laughs> I'm like looking at my little list right here okay number five I'm would love to close down the park I've never experienced that and watching all these YouTube vloggers at Disney everyone like stays at the parks forever and they're like OMG last in the park gonna go like be the last person on Splash Mountain or whatever and they take super cute pictures in Main Street so yeah I'm not sure exactly how that works because I'm not there yet but I will find out and hopefully you guys get to see me do that also because that'll be a good time number what's that six now um Instagram walls guys okay bubblegum wall purple wall the walls in Animal Kingdom new Toy Story Land walls are coming uh, well they're here now it's open and I'm so excited to see Toy Story Land so I didn't put that on my list but that's up there for sure I mean I yeah Toy Story come on um, so it's gonna be so fun there's gonna be so much to see and that'll just be a really good time to get tons of fun photos to capture my experience at the DCP and never forget it because it's gonna be amazing and I'm so excited. I can't wait to meet all kinds of characters. I never really do that when I'm just there for on vacation visiting the parks like when I've gone to Disneyland. I don't usually spend a whole lot of time meeting characters and doing meet and greets like that. They're really fun but usually I'm only there for a couple days and there's just so many things on my list character meet and greets aren't like super high priority for me when I'm there but however they are super awesome and I can't wait to do them I am gonna be working a whole lot and there's gonna be so much to do but I do expect to have some time and I'm going to be there for over f four months five months definitely on like the very top of my bucket list this one is actually because I want to be able to have time 
well I want to be able to do the things in Disney World that I wouldn't normally have time to do if I was just on vacation for a couple days because during the DCP I'm gonna have months to be there and explore and meet characters and go to shows and hang out on the hub grass and just try all the food and do things that I wouldn't normally do on vacation so it's gonna be really cool to be able to be living in the park and have time to do these things because it's just like pfft, what one other thing that's really cool about being a cast member is that I can sign up for and do the volunteers program and so I would love to do that it's really cool they do a bunch of like community service projects in Orlando and the surrounding areas um, and so that would be something really cool to be a part of through Disney and just see all the different opportunities that they have to help through volunteers and I would love to do that uh, at some point during my program we'll see what comes up hopefully I get to and then let's see the last thing on my bucket list oh okay so the last thing on my bucket list was to participate in Dapper Day so Dapper Day is when not everyone participates but like I mean a lot of people know and people show up to the parks dressed just in like really old-timey clothes I guess and like outfits that like people would have worn when the park first opened in like the 50s well Disneyland was in the 50s Disney World 67 I should know 71 ah I don't know um, but there so people dress in like really old-timey clothes and it's also an opportunity to Disney bound which is when you dress up like in fair, like normal clothes you're not like in a costume but you dress to match your favorite character and so you can I'm really excited to do that for Dapper Day and I don't know what I'll do yet but to, so to dress up for Dapper Day and then to also like Disney bound my favorite characters at the same time so we'll see what I come up with for that and that should be really fun so definitely yeah I think it's at the beginning of October is Dapper Day so that's gonna be another really cool one um yeah there's so much I want to do when I get to Disney World and like all the excitement is hitting me again now that I'm just a few weeks away from getting on a flight and leaving flying to Orlando Florida um, it's just gonna be magical. Everything is magical. So my phone just overheated. Perks of vlogging outside. I don't I wonder if that's gonna happen a lot at Disney World. It's gonna be hot there. We'll see how we hold up. But I just had to go stick my phone in the freezer for a minute <laughs> and reboot. So we're back. So I'm so excited and the hype is up here right now. Can't wait. Um, so yeah, those were my top 10 things on my bucket list. So many other things that I want to do and are to come and hopefully I will do a good job vlogging and get to show you all of this because I just want to capture it all and be able to look back on this forever. Thank you so much for following along. Please subscribe down below so that you can see all these things that I'm doing in the next few weeks when I go to Disney World. I'm gonna be getting my itinerary in, oh my gosh, like another week or two. One more week, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get my itinerary soon and find out where I'm working. And so I'll definitely vlog that and show you guys, tell you guys what I'm doing. Um, and then just traveling to Orlando, meeting my roommates, having my first week of training and like all these things are coming. Da, 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 da. So it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait. We're two weeks out from Disneyland, Disney World. I keep saying Disneyland. I've never been to Disney World, but we're going and it's gonna be great.